Sticky Bomb? That's actually got some Sticky Bomb action, I think. There's some crit already in there, too. <laughs> which is really funny. Let me get some decent crit action. Ooh, that's hard to pass up as well. Kind of feels like we don't really want to give anything up. There's not really many items, though, so to be fair. I love the lasers on her wrists. It's so cool. Hey. Don't want to give up speed, either. Goddamn. Or opal. Dude. I think we just have to take every item. We'll see if there's a uh, card in this uh, thing over here, though. Whoa. Getting one sticky bomb is, like, the... The option, I may not want to get any at all. Depending on what this item is, though. Oh, since Artie's skin changes with the, uh, like, the skybox of each map, this one's just, like, a lot darker because of the, uh, the rain. It's fucking sick. I get to see the new update on Worms today, so. Really cool looking. I saw the first iteration, and they were really cool. I'm excited to see more, though. I'm kind of conflicted, because from a fun perspective, they are really fun. And more fun than uh, Phase 4 is, because Phase 4, honestly, isn't that fun. It's part of the game, but walking in a circle usually isn't fun. I am worried that by using it, if I upload runs like that to YouTube, it will be received as like, oh, it's just... Phase 4 is just too hard, it's too... <laughs> so I'm really hoping the worms uh, step it up. Check this out. I haven't used Artie with Flame Bolt in a little bit, especially too. Bomb is fun. I don't know how I'm gonna hit Mythics with it though, so we'll see. That's like one thing, like, uh, Umbral's hard to hit. That's why I prefer Ice Spear in this scenario. Do I want a feather? Maybe I do. Like, the thing is, I don't want to have to uh, use my Ion Surge a lot during Umbral. It gets kind of messy. Sorry, threw me off. They do for me as well. I don't like having more than one, but I think one's okay. But I really. Dude, we have five fucking uh, Void Cradles right here. What the fuck? We got the perfect seed. So the way seeds work credit wise, right? They cost the stage 50 credits. But internally, they give 100, and each Vradle is worth 25, right? So we got four Vradles, which is the perfect 100. That's incredible. We also have a Speed Printer, which is very powerful. Is there anything in my build that's worth more than Speed? It's just so hard, man. Like, I do want those Opals, but I don't know. Well, mm. I should get at least a few speed. Maybe at least two. Take double opal. If it takes one opal, we'll stop. I don't really want to lose the gas either, but I'm willing to lose the gas for, for speed. That's really good. We'll take the other. Again, not having to rely on um, Iron Surge in the fight would be nice. I'll take Needle Tape, actually. Another Needle Tape. Okay. Could be good. Could be like Plimp, Polyloot, Spaces. It could be something awesome. Adios. What mode is this? This is Eclipse 8. This is the end game mode of Risk of Rain. And there it is, baby. Perfect. Is that, is that more speed? Yeah, it is. If we can get a Scrapper here, I'd be delighted. Okay. Nice. Lost the gas, gain one back. You know, the one time that I play Flame Bolt Artie, I'm looking for ignition tanks, and I can't find any. Sticky Bomb. 
It's so tempting too to sell this forever. Nice. Take it. How many arrows have you got in restoring two? I have 3,780 or something. Equipment drone? Actually, maybe we could get a, uh, like a radar drone or something, or a prion drone, you know? Or some of damage already does. Already is really, really good. Just take another opal, and then we'll snag this. I really don't like Molotov, but... If I was any other character right now, the feather would be non-negotiable. But if there's a red good enough in here, I might take it. Oh, that's non-negotiable. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Double seed? Great. Oh, yeah. FMP? I don't really have much for that. BMO would be better here for me. Nice. There we go. Nice. Mando's really good. Ow. You might just have to play the game more. I think you'll, uh, I think that's a common thing I see sometimes. New players generally, like, Commando's not very good. Then they kind of learn the item system a little bit more and everything and starts to all click. Two mountain friends. We can actually get a worm going here, I think. Well, they're the shrines, so we're right. I am kind of looking forward to, uh, getting a turf here, maybe. Dude, the crit's fantastic. Bears. Probably bears. Oh no, because you don't have a scrapper. What times do you want on Akrid? Speed. And AoE, usually. Kind of like, if you have speed, a little bit AoE, and then like, damage scaling for poison. Like, um, watches and AP rounds and stuff like that. That'd be really good. Let's take a ban for the first time in 10 years, and then... This is gonna be a worm. Not an overloading boss or something. Okay. <laughs> oh. Not overloaded enough to babysit the shield. Ow. The uh, the blazing imp teleported too close to me, and the flame did damage. Like in Sky Meadow, when there's the parents and they're blazing, they teleport right on you, and they immediately turn half your health without even attacking. It's like, all right, bro. Fantastic. I need a scrap for this run, please, dude. <laughs> I have so many greens that I don't want, goddamn. Why is the popular consensus that nades are worse than suppressive fire? Um, that's a mystery. I think, you know what? No, it's not a mystery. I just don't think people know how to use nades. I think that's the answer. I think people just throw the nade and it doesn't bounce where they want it to, and they're like, oh, this is shit. And like the one time they did bounce it right, if they felt like it didn't do much damage, and they're just like, eh. It's not worth the effort. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the gun that shoots Macadam. Can he beat Eclipse's Commando? It's impossible. Well, with Commando, Commando is one of the most item hungry characters, and one of the characters where it really shines, or game knowledge really shines. You really need to understand how to build damage as Commando. That's kind of like the uh, the task, right? You to understand how to build the damage. It can come really easy. An easy way to kind of look at it is just like for kind of a starter build. Look for something like, I don't know, like a bleed build or something. Bleed build would be really good. I feel like Voidling's kind of weak. Uh, Voidling sucks. Are you talking about Void Fiend or Voidling? If you're talking about uh, Void Fiend, Void Fiend is one of the best characters in the game. I think probably the best all round character that exists in the game. Hmm. Ugh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We have to, though. I'm not the biggest fan of his abilities. And not everyone has to be a fan of every character, either. I feel like it's rare for someone to like every character like I do. I think there's just a difference between not liking how someone feels, maybe, and just saying, like, hey, they're bad, they suck. I think as long as everyone understands that every character is legitimately very good, I'm happy. I mean, it's crit, but I'm gonna wait on that a little bit. It's 
still not a single scrap. Oh, I found one. I'm right. We complained hard enough, and we got one. Here, here, right now is loader because that's just, I haven't put in the time to learn her movement. Feels so clunky to me. You'll get it, dude. Loader's movement is the smoothest and coolest part of the game, for sure. I agree with Cap on that one. Why'd I pick that up? Dynasty Revolver, I'm actually. Never seen so many fucking. but pundies, dude. Holy shit, what is happening? <laughs> I found the bear. Dude, I didn't even fucking hit anything. Hey. Oh man. Wow, I had a full red item worth of daisies. Awesome. Oh. We don't really need the infusion, especially if it's gonna go away after Dios. Opals it would take to uh, survive a pizza slice. Nice. You have a no item merc skip if you baited and then wait on the top for your cooldown. You can just skip pillars this merc with no items. I see a red alien head. Uh, alien head could be cool with the ice walls and stuff. I don't know. There's two fucking speed patterns here. Give me. We'll get alien heads and we'll get a uh, yukes. The walls should be pretty good here. Walls have a speed cap? I'm sure somewhere. Oh yeah, every time he gets frozen, he shoots out, uh, darts. Like that. <laughs> it's fine if you're fucking sweeping right away. Of what I'm afraid of. There's <laughs> the Come here, dude.
Ow. Don't have me on the ceiling. Holy shit. Fucking add. I'm gonna kill that room first, if I can. I do this on any other characters. Uh, <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> God. The orbs are really cool though. I think the orbs are fucking awesome. They're really r reminiscent of uh, of the Providence fight. I think that's like the coolest thing I've seen so far. In like any of the boss fights. That's fucking sick. Attack? Interesting. It just looks different. Oh yeah. Is this the one that's bait? I don't remember. I think this is the bait one. Yeah, it's the worst one. <laughs> that was fun though. <laughs> 